Can I get a whole road bud? <laughs> Go whole road bud! Give me one card. Crab, can I get a whole road bud? Whole road bud! Yee 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 yee! Bullshit, that's the money, man. That is money. money. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Horo Buds. We've got a couple of special guests with us today. We've got um, Ethan and Carter with us, the Muskrat boys, back to their roots where the old man grew up. And we're gonna take them out to some of our favorite spots, try and catch a muddy, and maybe try and catch a big flatty or something as well. So we'll see how they go. How you going boys? Good, good. Good, you excited to go fishing today? Yeah. What's your, um, what's the biggest fish you've ever caught? Carter, what's yours? Uh, I did not know. Don't know, okay. No, I don't know. What about you, E? Mine's a puffer fish. Like, and like that one. Whoa, that is a big puffer fish. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Crab written all over it. Yeah. Look at that. How many you reckon? Three. Oh, three? Three. Right, the boys are just up on the sand, having a bit of a scout around trying to find some flatty tracks. Just gonna tie on a couple of gold bombers for them. And hopefully they can uh, flick them across these ledges, jag themselves a nice flatty. That was a lot of bait. Carter, bring the bucket. Got me ones and twos there. You want me to put some more water in? Holy! <laughs> Have a look at that for a cast huts. Ethan! Holy! That's a fill up right there. They're your racing mullet too. We'll just go and put them straight in the live bait tank, I reckon. Get them in that bucket. Where can I more? Nah, they'll stay alive for a bit till we get over there. Oh, really? Just chuck them straight in there, that'll do for bait. Look that one, a little feather brim. Check him out. There's a little feather on him. Eww! A couple of top end mullies there, lad. Right on, let's go. Let's get him over. Let's get him over. Easy! Look how much we caught! It is. No! That's your right, that's your sacrifice. You gotta sacrifice no one. No way! 
Okay. <laughs> that is a big one. That's a thumb pull. Look at him. Look at that. Ooh -wee. Ooh -wee. And then he goes. So we just got all our bait. The boys are yeah. pumped. We got some good quality mullies. Right there. Now we're just oh, cruising along the sand a bit here, looking oh, for a bit of a there. looking for a bit of a spot yeah, boys. where we it's reckon like, the flatties will be laying. Yeah, boys. As soon as I get bait, the competition's on. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, good luck. Yes. This mullet's gonna catch us a big flatty. Here we go. This rod here is going to go away, I reckon. You reckon? Oh, you reckon reel it in or no? No, no, no. Give it a little bit longer. Right, no, no flatties in our first spot, but we're not giving up. We're going to go check our first pot. It's in a little secret lagoon where we, we've never really crabbed there before, but we reckon there'd be muddies in there. So Come on, boys. we're going to go and check this first one and hopefully the mussies can produce the goods for us. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Don't go through the yabby beds. The yabby beds will roll you. See all that hard sand there? We've got to walk on that. And then somehow we've got to get into that crab pot. Bullshit, that's a money, man. That is a money. Oh, you Jenny. It's a Jenny. Lots of Jennies getting around. So, yeah, lagoon spot. The water's run out and we're going to have to do it the old school style. We're going to have to walk in. We bought our hand spear. as he's got it there. Yep. Oi. Oh no. I got the hat. I got it. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> yeah, so as I was saying. Oi, big dog. The bloody oh, crab pot. We've left it too long. And we're going to have to walk into it. Keeping our eyes out for crocs. We've already seen one muddy on the way in, but it was a female, so we can take it. So we're hoping this pot's got, uh, got plenty of crabs in it. Alright. We'll see you when we get to it. Stinky flatty track. You just walked in my flatty track. Flatty track, look. You see it here? That's where the flatty was laying. Like. Like look at them all here. Flatty, flatty. Oh, that's a pretty cool one. Yeah. Oh, look at them up here. Flatty. Flatty, flatty, flatty. flatty. We got here too late. Flatty, flatty. This is flatty central. Look at them. Flatty, flatty. All oh, flatty's up there. Oh, this too. Little crab. That's a good time. Yeah, a little tiny one. Another one there. The mussies are going to keep an eye on things for us while me and Hudson go in. Oh, look at the bait in here. We're just off the edge of it, eh? We should have been in this little channel here. I still think we're going to have crabs. Oh there's, cra oh, there's crabs in there. There's crabs in there. Yeah. Oi, what's that busting up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just sank up to my ball sack. <laughs> Come on, where I am. What'd you stand up? There's definitely man, muddy's in here. Oh, what's that one there? That's alright. One. Crab there, crab there, crab there. None legal so far. That dog might be legal. Woo! Big rusty. Rusty Jamusty. One down the bottom might be. Anyway. You don't know if you're. Oh, look, there's one trying to get away there. Is he big? No, he's only little. Well, there's crabs in here, we won't know if they're legal or not until we measure them, but just by naked eye, we're thinking no. We'll get them back to the sand. 
throw a stick on them. Yeah, some muddies in there, boys. One, two, three, four. Under cucumber. Oh, he's just under as well. Chuck him in that one because we can get in this one. He'll go straight back in there. Yeah, chocolate he is. Yeah. See, that means he's real full of meat. Careful, hey, careful. He almost grabs you there. Keep on. Yeah, shit, yeah. He bought your finger straight off. He's just under size. Should I just under? No, thank you. For the Horobots cattle. Right, oh, so our lagoon pot had four good crabs in it, but they were just a little bit under, so we had to let them go. But it's a good sign. There's plenty of crabs moving. We've seen a couple that we had a chance to spear. Yeah. couple in the first pot um, so now we're just going to go and see what uncle joey's doing try and find what he's up to when out on horo buds adventures we always like to carry our survival first aid kit just in case particularly when bryce is on board because you're guaranteed to be, there to be at least one injury let's see what's happened over here mm. uh, i was just we caught a caught a legal crab and then we'll just have a little cook up and i just cut my finger off Wash it in a bit of sterile salt water. And yeah, nah, she's all good. Oh, mate. Right, right, where do we want to start? Just cutting? amputate there. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> FYI. That's an FYI. That's, that's, what, that's what's cooking up for lunch. Antiseptic is cleaning white. Mate, I've watched Rambo. You need gunpowder. Pressure gauge. I've seen, seen gunpowder. You get a sprinkle gunpowder on it and light it up. Everyone knows that. I know, Bryce, you show me a look. It's a big chunk of one for band aid, but you can't, you can't be too you can't be too safe out here in the buddy. Wow. Valerie has taught you a thing or two, hasn't she? That's like a that's like a that's like a condom. Condom. Right, boys, that's how you do it, eh? There you go. Yeah, we're just picking up the crab pot. We shot lock, boys. Yeah. 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 Yep. Or a big mango. So we're just approaching our last 
our last crab pot. See if we have any luck on this oh. last one. What do you reckon, Dan? I reckon we go out the front. Hey! We give these pots a bit of a run out there yeah. for a last ditch effort at a crab. And then we work this income and tie it on that front bank and try and get a fish. Yeah. We've really struggled today. We've tried trolling lures, we've tried live bait, we've tried dead bait, but we just haven't had any luck. So we're hoping with this tide coming in now, might just turn our luck around. Yo! Getting a live bait. Getting a live out here. Yeah. Ready? Oh, I've got one right on the surface. I've got one. Good size. Got one for a bit. It's, do you want me to try and get a better size? No, that's perfect. That's perfect. Got, it's got mangrove jack written all over it. Yeah, that's a good jack bait. That's perfect. Let's go, boy. Yeah. Any hits yet? Nah, not yet. Nothing? No. Any more bazzies on the sounder? No, Are they triangles or are they actually like. No, they look like bazzies. Oh, it was a bloody tough day. Fishing was slow. Crabbing was pretty slow. Uncle Joey did all right. He got a nice feed. But um, what a beautiful way to spend the afternoon. Right out on the front beach here. The young fellas are running around, hitting a few golf balls. Got a couple of rods out the back. Mate, life could be better. Oh, back rod, back rod, back rod, Unzi! Uh, we'll you, you might have to tighten your drag up a little bit. Drop him. No. You were getting spooled, oh, eh? Back, bro. Oh, Let's get him back on. Let's get him back in. What happens when you're sponsored by Horan and Bird, you get a solar powered crab cooker. Look at this solar panel here hooked up to the crab cooker, and it's just running that crab boiling situation there. That's unheard of. Solar powered crab cooker, unbelievable. Get yours now at horanandbird.com.au. These crabs have been on there for 20 minutes. What are you doing there, mate? Just turning the solar panel off. Well, yeah, the first thing you want to do. Just take those crabs and dip them straight in. Salt water is like gravy for crabs, so it's top end muddy. Look at the size of this one, this big beer. Let them cool off for a bit. Put them in here. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. Look at the seagulls coming in. We're going to clean these crabs in this little gutway coming in. This is just going to be a feeding frenzy tonight. Yeah, well, Quay, there's no version. Yo, anyone got a mm. nature's lollipop? Mm. I'm going to have this big one. Yeah, chuck it over. That's a huge one, man. Yeah. Look at this one. Cool out. Have a look at this. This is my favourite part of the crab. Crack it, clean it, give it a little wash in the salt water. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Alright, so we've got a little Horo Buds tradition. The best crabber of the day, whoever's produced the most top end muddies, has to scull from the nippers. Today's award goes to Uncle Joey, otherwise known as Jodes. Uh, well done, Jodes. Congratulations, mate. Uh, thanks, mate. I really know where to put a crab pot and uh, produce big top end muddies every time. So thanks for the award, Dan. Cheers. Oh! Righto, Horo Buds, that's the end of another adventure. Mussy boys, what you just reckon about your day with Uncle Joey and Uncle Dan and Hudsey and all the boys? Yeah, it was great. Have a good day? Yeah.
Real what, good. What was your favourite part? Uh, probably picking up the crab pots. Yeah, yeah. Crab crab pots. yeah. Uncle Joey knows some good crab and spots, eh? Yeah. Bloody beauty. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you smash that thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. See you all next time.